Hello, everybody. This is Laura coming to you today from End Time Apostasy. Now, guys, I know I made a video uh, a couple of days ago about Brian Houston and uh, the story of the fact that his father, Frank Houston, um, molested this gentleman called Brian Senstock. Now, unfortunately, I had to take it down due to copyright. Um, it was blocked all over the world. So what I've decided to do is I decided to remake the video, but also put the link to the 60 Minutes interview underneath. So for those of you who haven't watched me before, and this might be a, um, a video, um, the first time listening to me, I just want to explain who this gentleman is. This guy is called Brian Houston. He is the head pastor um, and the head honcho of Hillsong. Um, now, the thing is, uh, he this this fella here is involved in the Word of Faith movement. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Word of Faith movement is, I've made a video. It goes back, um, it goes back into the mind sciences, um, the uh, Phineas Quimby, Christian Science, uh, Mary Baker Eddy, and then it goes on into E. W. Kenyon, where he Christianized this type of stuff if you speak something that it will come to pass you know that you always have to be healthy and you always have to be well this comes from from this particular um lineage and it, it goes on up into um kenneth hagan um who was considered dad hagan and then kenneth copeland and then on to other word of faith teachers this gentleman is one of such He's also involved in the New Apostolic Reformation. And for those of you who don't know what the New Apostolic Reformation is, just very briefly, they believe in seven spheres or seven mountains in, um, in society that they're going to bring, they're going to dominate all the um, entertainment, family, politics, and other particular mansions that are seven mansions, they're going to dominate them. And only when they dominate those mansions, only then their Jesus, not the Jesus of the gospel, not the Jesus of Nazareth, okay? But their Jesus is going to come back um, only until they take over the world for Jesus, or for their Jesus. Now, let me just state from the very get-go, the Bible is very clear. It says that many false Christs and false prophets will arise. We have to be very careful when we're dealing with people like this. Just because you hear the word Jesus does not mean that it is the Jesus of the Bible. You know, in in the Book of Mormon, there is Je there is a Jesus who was married to Mar to had sex with Mary Magdalene, and uh, that. They, they believe that he is one of the gods, that Jesus was one of the gods, and that they're all brothers and sisters in the Mormon church, and that they're all going to become gods, and they'll all have their own planet, and there'll be one guy who will be the main head honcho, and the women will be giving birth to spirit babies for eternity, and they also believe in a place called Kolob, which is uh, <laughs> a space place and so that's one Jesus that we can look at that isn't the Jesus of the Bible now you're going to see and I'm going to show you this in a little while Brian Houston talks about the Muslim God and his God is the same God so that means that the Muslim remember that the Muslim God or the, um, is totally evil I mean he he was a pedophile himself Allah was uh, um, um, Allah was uh, sorry Muhammad excuse me um, married a young girl of six and um, had sex with her at nine years of age. She was a total pedophile. And guys, you know that you know Islam is is a la is uh, is a religion of hate. Anyway, um, so here we see this guy and he's talking about that. Now, he, like I said, he's involved in all kinds of cults and he's also absolutely money mad. This is a business to him. And um, what he did was he covered up the crimes of this man here. He covered them up. So remember, guys, when you see Hillsong, run for the hills. This guy is a total heretic. You run, okay? So let me just go over here. Okay, guys. So here is, here is, let me just show you this. Here is the article that I'm going to read now. As you can see, there is Brian Houston. Um, and 60 Minutes has, um, 
and at which I said I'm going to leave the link underneath. The uh, Hillsong Church founder under police investigation over handling of father's sex crimes. Now they've reopened the case. So this was by Gary McNabb, 60 Minutes producer, 9.32 p.m., November 18, 2018. Okay, so Brian Houston, the founder of the Hillsong Church, is under investigation by New South Wales Police over his handling of the sex crimes committed by his father, Frank Houston. Frank Houston was a Pentecostal pioneer, a leading Assemblies of God pastor who preyed on young boys in Australia and in New Zealand in the 1960s and the 1970s. The first allegations of Frank Houston's paedophilia emerged in the late 1990s when Brian Houston was the Australian National President of the Assemblies of God, part of the largest Pentecostal denomination in the world. Now, he's actually left um, the assemb- what's it, the Assemblies of God Australian Christian Churches. Um, he was the, the main head honcho in that particular movement. Now, I've done a video on the ACC, Australian Christian Churches, and the Assemblies of God, and uh, they are not sound. They believe that you can <coughs> lose your salvation, which is no gospel at all. And Jesus said, if they preach a different gospel, let them be anathema, accursed. Okay, so here we have uh, what we call Frank Houston. He's a paedophile pastor. And that's his son there, Brian Houston. That looks like a long time ago. Let me just keep going. In 2014, Brian Houston gave evidence before the Royal Commission into Institutional Responses to Child Sex Abuse, which later found out he had failed to take the matter to the police and had a conflict of interest in dealing with the complaints against his father. So basically, he didn't bother to report this at all, okay? Which was really horrendous, to say the very least. Absolutely horrendous. Anyway, it has emerged that in the wake of the Royal Commission's findings, New South Wales Police began looking into the, the, his handling of his father's crimes, an investigation that was suspended because of lack of evidence. A New South Wales Police spokesman said the investigation has been reopened and is now current and active. So this guy is Brian Senstock. Now, when you watch the interview, you are going to feel so deeply sad because not only it was him that was abused but other people too other little children it was absolutely horrendous so we come down here there's brian houston okay and tonight okay so there's part two tonight on 60 minutes one of frank houston's victims brett sengstock spoke for the first time of his abuse abuse by brian houston as a seven-year-old boy and his ongoing quest for justice. Um, so, for the Australians, because I can't get that when I click there, or I click there, or official website, I can't actually get on there because I'm in Europe. Um, for those of you in America, you may be able to um, get it, or maybe if you're, obviously, if you're in Australia or New Zealand, I'm sure you will, and, and other countries, but um, I am going to give you a link um here now um of 60 minutes and watch the interview you'll hear the interview for yourself um and here's what they say down here the enormously popular um hillsong church proudly boasts that it believes in people and their ability to influence the world with good now, yeah, it was founded by the telegenic and usually talked to Brian Houston, but he didn't want anything to do with the story reported by Liz Hayes. That's because it's about evil, the most unchristian behavior imaginable, and his own father, Frank Houston. He was a high-profile church leader, one who used his position and influence to abuse children. One of his victims was Brett Senstock, who, because of Houston's depravity, has endured a life of misery, hiding in the shadows, but not any longer. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you the kind of character that Brian Houston is. Um, now, this is a video called Hillsong Gospel, quote-unquote, of greed, because this is a different gospel. This is the word of faith gospel so let me just play this granted this video is a bit old and a bit blurry but it's good to have a look and see what this con- this man is about <laughs> Brian Houston, money. The 
no one person in this building who doesn't need more money. And if you say, well, I don't need more money, then I would say you have a very poor outlook on life. You'll learn why you need more money. Because money is a tool that can accomplish phenomenal things. What money can do in your head is bless, it can help, it can build, it can increase, it can bring vision, it can strengthen. You'll learn how to get... Okay, does any of you guys remember talking how Jesus talked to the rich young ruler? And the rich young ruler didn't want to give it up, right? So he went away sad. Do you remember Jesus living in a big huge mansion and had, you know, a very important chariot? Or do you remember Jesus being humble? Do you remember Jesus coming in on a donkey? Do you remember Jesus was born in a manger? Do you remember Jesus sent out the apostles and he said to the apostles, you know, don't bring anything with you, just wear what you're wearing and that he would supply. And sure enough, the apostles went and the Lord said, if they listen to the gospel, great. If they don't, wipe the dust off your feet and keep on going. And so Jesus said, the love of money is the root of all evil. Now you're going to hear him say that you're not, it's not the love of money, but then you're going to hear something else. So let's continue. Get more money, and you'll learn how to have wealth without having a love for money. Poor does not have to be permanent. All the Anthony, you say, well, you know, how do you know that? Because why would... Now he's mentioning Ole Anthony. So guys, this is Ole Anthony. Now Ole Anthony is part of the Trinity Foundation. And what they do is it's a very good thing to to follow because they um, monitor fraud okay um, especially with these false um, people that are asking you for money on TBN and people like that he's been doing this for a very long time and um, I think it's about 30 years but he's been doing this and doing a great job too so Ole Anthony that's why he was he was talking Brian Houston was mentioning Ole Anthony so so let's continue this, okay. The poor say I am rich. Now let the poor say I am rich, okay. Let us look at that in the proper context. What did Jesus mean when he said let the poor say I am rich? Was that about money? No, it wasn't about money. It was about the fact that we have eternal life. Because the Lord Jesus Christ has saved us from going to hell. He died on the cross. He shed his blood to cover our sin. He rose on the third day. And Jesus said, if you repent and trust in the cross, that trust in what Jesus did on the cross, that you will be saved. And you'll be sealed until the day of redemption. And the Lord says, no one can take you out of his hand. That's what the Lord Jesus promises us. So when he says rich here, he's talking about money, obviously. The scripture's not talking about that at all. So let's continue. It wasn't the will of God to break the power of poverty over people's lives. There's no such thing as the power of poverty. Remember, like I said, Jesus was poor. Now, when we're blessed with money, it's because we're to bless others, right? And the Lord says we're to give cheerfully. But there's no such thing as tithing in the in the New Testament. That was for the Levitical priests. And it had to do with, um, basically, with nature. You know, and bringing it into the barn and all this kind of stuff. This is what they do. They take scripture out of its context and they make a brand new doctrine out of it. So let's continue. In this life-changing tape series, Pastor Brian Houston will challenge you to live according to the principles of God and see his blessing on your life as you become a money... Okay, guys. Okay, so here we're going to hear Brian Houston discuss Christ Lamp. That he compares the Muslim... He says that the Muslim God is the same as our God, that it goes back into the Old Testament. Let us look at this. Okay. The way you see God decides what you believe God does, what you believe God loves, and what you believe God blesses, where his favor will be. So I couldn't encourage any leader who wants to live purposefully and who wants to build a church that reflects the heart of God, I couldn't encourage you more 
to make sure that your view of the master is through a new covenant, New Testament lens. That we look at the Old Testament, which is so full of beauty and power and example and wonder. And it's so much of the whole tenor of God's message that we need to look at it through the lens of the resurrection and the cross and back into it from where we stand now and not from where they stood then. Now, what Pastor, so-called Pastor Brian Houston says there is absolutely right. This is, watch what he does now, because this is the danger. You know, when the Lord talks about it leaveneth, when some, when there's a false teaching that it leaveneth the whole lump. In other words, it puts poison into it. So that's all very nice and good. The devil has set that up now, and we all go, oh, amen, and here comes the poison. Because otherwise, it's going to affect your ability to be purposeful and building and leading and bringing release and bringing freedom and seeing those things God puts in your heart come to pass. How do you view God in a desert? There's two types of birds. There's vultures and there's hummingbirds. One lives off dead carcasses, rotting meat. The other lives off the beautiful, sweet nectar in a particular flower on a particular desert plant in the same desert they both find what they're looking for do you know take it all the way back into the old testament and the muslim and you we actually serve the same god allah to a muslim to us have a father god and of course through history now i'm gonna let uh, i'll leave the link underneath guys you can accuse me of taking this out of context this, what he's saying right here, is absolutely blasphemous. Beyond blasphemous. It's wickedness, okay? This is the devil speaking through this man right now. If you are a true believer in, in the Bible and in the Lord Jesus, the true Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus said this, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Now, did, uh, do we worship most the Muslim God and we worship the Christian God? That's blasphemous. The first, the first commandment is, you shall have no other false gods before me. He's basically saying that our only true God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, G, G, Father, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, they're one, right, is the same as, as the Muslim God. That, brothers and sisters, is completely blasphemous that is complete heresy and i wanted you to see this because i want you to understand that this man and is, is uh, he has a horrendous character and um, he covered up all of that stuff that his father did and now he's preaching total heresy and what gets me is these people are sitting there and they're listening the lord said that they will in the last days that they will surround these that people will surround themselves with false teachers to feed their tickling ears that's what scripture says and also it says that we are in the great falling away right now all of us in the world right now who are Christians are in the middle of the great apostasy that was prophesied by Jesus himself. He said that many false Christs and false apostles will arise in the last days. And just because, guys, you hear the name of Jesus, there's the Mormon Jesus, who was the brother of Lucifer. That's what they teach. There's the Islam Jesus, who was just a prophet. Then there is the Buddhist Jesus, who was an avatar. Then there was uh, the Christ consciousness, which means that you could become a better um a, a better proportion of yourself that you become as God, you become like God. Um, these particular people are absolutely dangerous and I warn you about this because the Lord says we are to test every spirit, to test everything by the Word of God. The Word of God is the final authority for truth and practice as a Christian and we're supposed to read the Word of God verse by verse by verse and that we exegete the word correctly, meaning that we pull out proper information of what the word of God is saying, not eisegeting, which is reading into the scripture and placing your own idea on the scripture to come up with an idea. And many false prophets do that this, these days. 
Okay, guys, so I've made other videos on Brian Houston. If you guys want to check them out, you can. As I said, the link is underneath for the interview with 60 Minutes. I And I'm going to leave it here with you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may the Lord let his light to shine upon you. And I'll talk to you super soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.